Hi guys, my name is Deb Mummy and I'm from Aussie Mail. Welcome to our Chainmail tutorial channel. Hey guys, today I'm going to be demonstrating a project from our Make It or Mail It in Minutes playlist. And today I'm going to show you our ever popular Dangerously Biz earrings. These are a simple pair of earrings. They look absolutely stunning. We always sell out with these kits when we take them to shows, so they're really popular and they're not very hard to do. So I think they're perfect for this uh, playlist. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, so here's a sample piece of the project that we're going to do today. And to make up a pair of these earrings, you're going to need the following components. So in um, bright aluminium, 16 gauge AWG, which is 1.2 millimeter diameter wire with a ring ID of 5 30 seconds of an inch or 3.97 millimeters. You're going to need 28 of these rings. And then in the same size ring, this time in anodized aluminium in two colors, uh, you're going to need eight of each of these colors, so a total of 16 colored rings. You're also going to need a pair of these acrylic spikes. Uh, these ones are about 35 millimeters in length. Uh, you'll also need a pair of ear wires or studs, lever backs, whatever it is that you like to use for your earrings. Um, a twist tie, a bit of wire, a paper clip, something like that to help you start uh, your piece off. And of course, a pair of smooth jawed pliers. Today I'm using pliers from our Zuron range. These ones here are our chisel nose pliers. These ones are our wide nose, wide short nose pliers. Okay, so to start this project, I'm going to close up two of our color two rings. And it doesn't really matter which of your um, anodized rings you choose to use first. That's totally up to you. So I'm just going to use the royal blue here and I'm going to then put those onto a twist tie um, to give me a little bit of a handle. You really do need a little bit of a handle, something to hold on to when working in Byzantine with this size rings. So we've got our pair of colour two rings and then we're going to take up one of our colour one rings, which is the BA rings, and we're going to feed that straight through that pair there. And we're going to close that up. We're going to take up a second ring because in Byzantine we always work in pairs and I'm going to feed that through the same path. Okay, so now we've got four rings in our chain. We're going to take up another color one ring, feed that through the last pair, close it up, double that ring up by feeding another one through the same path. Okay, so we've now got our three base pair of rings, which we need to start Byzantine. So now what I'm going to do, holding on to my chain, I'm going to flip those last pair of rings. So I've got one sitting on each side. I'm going to flip them all the way back and I'm going to pinch them against the chain. Okay, and then what I want to do I want to separate out this, la this top pair of rings here so that we can see the exposed rings here. These are the rings we actually flipped back. And then taking up our color three ring, which is the second of our colored rings, I'm going to feed that straight through this gap that you can see here, picking up these two rings that we're exposing in the middle. So just picking that straight up closing that ring up and of course doubling that ring up through the same space 
So our work looks like this, which is basically half a Byzantine unit. Okay, so what we want to do next is we want to take up another one of our colour one rings. And we're going to feed that through our last pair of rings there. So just straight through. And we're going to double that up. Okay. So we're looking for our base three rings, so a pair of rings. So we've got one pair, we've got two pair there. So we're going to add another set of colour one rings straight through there. Double that up. And again, we've got our base three pairs of rings, okay? One, two, three. So as before, I'm going to hold on to my chain. I'm going to flip the end pair of rings either side, taking them all the way back so that I pinch them against my chain. I'm going to force open this top pair of rings, exposing the rings that we just flipped back, okay? And through that gap there that you can see, that's where we want to feed this gap just here. That's where we want to feed our next ring. So we're going to take up one of our color two rings. So the color that we started with, and we're going to flip that, slip that in there in that space, picking up those two rings that we flipped back, closing that ring up. And of course, repeating with a second ring because we always work in pairs with Byzantine. Okay, so that locks our piece in place, giving us a complete Byzantine unit. Okay, and then we want to again create another base chain of three pairs. So those rings we just placed are the first pair we're going to place two more pairs of color one rings to give us that chain of three pairs. So there's our first pair placed and we want to place one more. Okay. Double that ring up. Okay. So there we are now with our three base rings that we like when we make Byzantine. Again, holding onto our chain, we're going to flip those rings that so we've got one on either side, pinning them all the way back against our chain. Making sure that that top pair of rings separate out and that we can see that space there that we're going to feed our next ring through. And of course, our next ring is going to be our color three ring. We're going to feed it, feed it through that space, close it up, and repeat with a second ring of the same color. Okay, so that's it as far as adding rings for um, the Byzantine section. So what we're going to do now is grab another one of our color one rings, we're going to feed that through the last pair of rings in our chain. And then before we close that up, we're going to grab our spike and we are going to pop that onto the ring and then close that ring up. Okay. So there's the dangerous bit of our earring. And then just to finish it off, we're going to remove the twist tie from the other end going to grab another color one ring. We're going to feed it through the first pair of rings up here. And then again, before we close that off, uh, we're going to grab our ear wire or stud, whatever it is you're using, feed it onto that chain or that ring and close it up. And there you go. There's one dangerously busy earring 
all you need to do now is make another to have a pair and um, you'll be on your way. Okay, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, that you love these earrings as much as I do and that you have a great time wearing them. If you did enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to give us a thumbs up here at YouTube. Share our video with your groups or Pinterest or anywhere that you like to share videos. We'd love to get the name out there. Um, if you want to help us create more content in the future and you haven't already, think about subscribing to our channel. Uh, hit the bell so that you get notifications of content every time we upload it. Uh, while you're here, don't forget to check out our other videos. We have heaps of them here for you for mailers of all different levels. And last but not least, don't forget our shop link up in the corner there. You'll be able to buy all the tools and components and everything you need for this tutorial and many of the others that are on our channel. So again, guys, thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again sometime in the very near future. Okay, bye now.